Uh, don't hit me. When but, like, hit me. <laughs> will you have kids? National history, I think. Are you farting right now? No. If it's not too weird to ask, how much did each wedding cost? We'd have to get a storage unit. Oh, we'd be the. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. We live in America. Is that all we got? We live in uh, uh, America. This week, we are answering your questions that you submitted. A, on Instagram, or B, on our website at www.halfpastcha.com. And guys, there's some pretty wacky questions, if I do say so myself. So we're going to get a little, a little crazy this Monday morning. With that being said, let's get into this Half Past Crew. <sighs> Welcome to Half Past Cha. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Half Past Cha. We're your hosts. My name is K2. My name is Hallie. And if you can't already tell, I'm Indian. And I'm super white. Super duper, <laughs> super duper duper. We talk about being an interracial couple because we're married and we're an interracial couple. We arguably talk about it way too much. A little too much. <laughs> but we also just give, you know, some relationship advice here and there because you all go to www.halfpastcha.com to submit all your problems that you guys have. Every problem. So many problems. There are just an immense amount of problems There's being a, in a racial couple, but also just being in a relationship in general. Just being a person. There's it's an abundance of problems. So hard. Being with another person. Why are they so difficult? I don't know. We talk about that on this podcast. We release new podcast episodes every Monday at 7 a.m. So thank you for spending your Monday with us. That means you need to go subscribe. Like this video if you haven't already, because it really helps the algorithm. If you're watching on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, you got to give us five stars and make sure you follow the podcast so then you get notified when we post. Yeah, you want to do that. <laughs> Settle in, get cozy, grab your cha, everybody. And let's get into it. That was a cute little clink sound. <sighs> Proud we didn't spill it on our little soundboard we got. Is it's that a, even what it's called? Yeah, it is a soundboard, a actually. A little soundboard. A little soundboard. We're like, guess what? No. It is time for questions of the week. <laughs> yeah! That is the whole episode, everybody. Yeah, it is. If it you ends have... in a five or a zero, then it's a questions episode. True. True. That's very true. We yeah. have so many from you guys. We asked on Instagram. We asked on our uh, website, and the, you guys, you guys came through, delivered. So <laughs> we have a good set of them. All right, this, we're gonna start off. There's a lot of questions that were very similar, so we have grouped them together as best as we could. And so if you hear it, but it's not exactly what you said, it's because we've grouped it, and so we've tried to make it more compact, more cohesive. First question. <laughs> We're just jumping right in. Is it looking like New York City will be your new home? Well, actually, guys, just kidding. We've I mean, already moved. Yeah. We're in New York City right now. We were able to make a studio that looks just like our kitchen and sunroom. So that's where we are right now. Exactly. Actually. Yeah. No, to be honest, we love New York City, but... It is a very expensive place. And I would love to move. I would love to move there, right? It's just like when we were growing up, I guess, we were sold on this idea that the perfect life is you go to college, get a good job, you buy a house, you get married, you buy, get married, buy a house, and then you you live in the suburbs. Like that's the goal. That's the dream that's life. You get the white picket fence. Well, we don't have one of those, but we've got the typical American dream, as people would say. And that's the that's the way most people go. And I'm grateful for that. Okay. Yeah. It is amazing that we even made it this far. But but man, man, the the um the what's it called when you have the itch? Oh yeah. Like the itch? Yeah, like the like you just want more? The thought. The what like when you have an itch, like a thought, like a compulsive like even intrusive thought? Intrusive thought. The you're like compulsive like desire or yes. want? Just like an intrusive thought is just like starting all over in New York City. And Start just over. Kind of pursuing our passions, right? And just seeing if it works. But the problem is it's very expensive to live in New York City. Well, listen, and I've I've talked about this before, maybe on here, maybe not, but with like some of my friends is... <laughs> Nothing in life it has to be permanent, mm -hmm. right? So even if we did decide to do that, 
it doesn't have to be forever. Yeah. And realistically, it's New York City. Like, it won't be forever just because it's not the best place to start a family. <laughs> it's Realistically. Uh, <laughs> but when we did go there, there's a lot of people, like, going to school. There's I know, people, yeah. Like, getting dropped off to the bus. I was like, what the? That's so crazy to me that that even exists in New York City. Yeah, like, anytime we'd see a baby, I'd be like, okay, you look, it's a baby. And he'd be like, okay, I get it. You really like it here. I think... Who knows? Maybe it could be in the cards for us someday. I don't know. It, the thing, I'll be honest, the biggest thing holding me back, look around. Yeah, it's great. It's great our beautiful. It's our beautiful house. Yeah, we built this house. This is our baby. And it, I love this house. And thinking to, about if we were to rent it out to mm, somebody, I would never, like, yeah. I know that sounds really pretentious, but I don't care. We built this house and we've lived here for the last three years. If somebody else lived here and got their filth in it, I would not want to come back. That would hurt me so bad. I don't have a problem with that because I don't. Yeah, I don't. You say <laughs> that. You say that. But think about people sleeping in our bed. It's not going to be the same bed. But do you know, like, what would we take all of our furniture? This is not going to fit yes. in a New York City apartment. We'd, we'd have to get a storage unit. <laughs> oh, we'd be though. Oh, my God. We don't want storage units. We, we have an inside joke storage about storage unit. units, and I do not want one. I'm going to take a step back for the people who don't know us. There's a question that was asked. What state do you live in? So oh. to take a step back, we live in Indiana, a cornfield state. Uh, it's not it's not like a crazy like it's not bad. OK, Indiana is not a bad state. It's to live not. In. It's a pretty good state to live in with price. And, it, you know, like we oh. have a nice house here. So it's, it was easy to easier to do that. This is what I'd say about Indiana. It is affordable. It is a sport state. So if you like to bike, play sports, run. This is a great state to be in. If you like to watch sports, great state. Um, and Indianapolis I will say, itself is also a very uh, clean city. It's not like the cleanest, but it's not too big. It's not too small. It's pretty small. It's small, but it's not like but crazy. it's kind of cozy in a yeah. weird way. Like you get acquainted with Indy fast. Um, Indiana, I would say is safe. It's a place you want to come play it safe mm -hmm. and not really take many risks as opposed to like we started this podcast episode off talking about New York. That is a place you go and take risks. And I think you have to figure out what you want in your life. Do you want to play it sta safe and have stability or do you want to take calculated risks? Like that's what we talk about all the time. We're not just going to take risks. We would be taking calculated, calculated risks. risks. See? On the same wavelength. You got to think like... Uh, engineer and a data scientist yeah okay we can't just do anything cold turkey and just figure it out along the way that's not how we roll but next question would you <laughs> would you guys move if so which city well obviously if we moved it would be new york new york city yeah i don't think we would move anywhere else i we i've been almost to every state in this country uh i've been all the way in the west on all those states i've been all the way on the east in every state and it's just and then even the South, like the South is just really hot. It's too hot. Um, and then the East Coast, honestly, there's a lot of places in the East Coast that are really yeah. nice. Uh, West Coast is not our thing uh, just because the West is too relaxed. It's like, too much for me. If you go anywhere on the coast, like in California, everybody's just so chill. And we're, I don't know, maybe we're just not chill people. I don't think we are. Like we, we are. We are, but in another sense, we are hustlers and we have that mindset. And that's why, that's why I say New York is fill, filled, filled with our people yeah. because they also yeah. have a hustler mindset. Now I know there's going to be these people like, oh, what about Silicon Valley? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, get yeah. that. I get the startup mindset as well, but that's a different kind of mindset. There's like the the LA Silicon Valley mindset, and there's New York City. They're complete. I think they're completely different. I agree. They're just on a different level. Yeah. I would say. Next question: What is it about New York that makes you consider moving there? You go first. My my biggest thing for for me is probably the environment, the people, like the people. We met so many great people, and. Just being there makes me feel so motivated. And I don't know if I'd feel that way if I lived there. Like if I, if that was just like an everyday occurrence, is it, do I feel this way because we're going there for a week or would I feel this way 
long term or would it start to die off? Like that's something I'm concerned about. I mean, that goes for anywhere, right? Yeah. So it it's not just specifically New York. Like obviously we're attracted to the glamour and the iconicness of New York, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it is iconic, all of it. I mean, like any movie you watch probably is filmed in New York and you can see Central Park or you can see like the Washington Arch or you can see, I mean, like they're like just everything is so iconic. So that's huge. Also, like I said earlier, the mindset of people, I love, first off, the people we met out there, fantastic. They're there for a reason, Yeah, right? They're not just there. Yeah. They want to work and they want to be successful in life. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what really draws me to it. And also, I mean, not to be cliche, but the food scene, the coffee scene, there's everything there. The thing is I've, I've done everything in Indy. I know everything in Indy, right? And that's safe. There's so much unknown to be explored in a huge place like New York. And to me, that's exciting. It's exciting. I'd be so poor if we were there. Cause like, it's just, there's just so much to eat. There's so much to eat. Well, we're not going to eat out all the time. I mean, groceries there are expensive. We'd have to like cut down to like once a week. Yeah, that's fine. We only do like one to two times a week now. And it would be so hard because there's so much stuff. Well, it would be, but we would have to limit ourselves like, okay, this week we're going to go to Ruby Rose's Pizza. Next week we're going to go to Indian restaurant that's like really good. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you have to have balance. That's the thing. And I think about that. Yeah. And I think about that a lot because we've gotten used to living comfortably, right? Yeah. Because Indiana is not as expensive If we were to move to a more expensive place, we would have to make quite a few adjustments. Sacrifices. Yeah. A lot of sacrifices. First of all, we'd have to sell our cars. Oh, my God. Uh, Because I'm not bringing a car to New York City. (laughs) See, and my issue is like, if I think, yeah, I think if we hadn't lived in our own amazing place first, had great new cars if we hadn't had all these things it would be much easier for me to be like okay well let's drop everything and go to new york like if we had an apartment yeah. or something that like i didn't have to leave my gorgeous house that i literally love spending time in so much that would be so hard for me to be like okay i'm in an 800 square foot apartment that would be depressing to me I, that's what i struggle with i'd be okay with making the sacrifice if it meant that i got to pursue my dreams so that's, that's a good point. That's, that's just leave it at that point because the next question is, when are you leaving Indiana? <laughs> oh God, I don't know. <laughs> Guys are really, everybody's really concerned about us leaving Indiana. Well, because the only trip we go on is New York City, yeah. but I don't care. I'm, going I'm not mad about it. In a month, so. I'm coming with, I guess. Can I come with you? I guess. <laughs> I guess. Yes! Woo! <laughs> on another note, what is next on your travel bucket list outside of the U.S.? For, for us, it's UK, the U.K. Yeah. We, we really want to visit the United Kingdom. We haven't been there. I love, I, I, I've always, in, like, London itself, like, I would love to see it. We also watch a show called Welcome to Wrexham. We'd love to visit. It'd be so cool to see. To go to Wales. That and, and go to the race course. Oh, oh my God. My God. That'd be so awesome. Yeah, that would probably be, Um, that's probably next on my bucket list. I would love to go to the UK. And yeah, it would just be fun. Yeah. And if there's anybody out there, I know there's a lot of people who have submitted from the UK. Yeah. Let us know because the stay in the UK is so expensive. Oh my God, the hotels there. Why are you guys so expensive? Holy moly. Anyways. Let us know if we should make it happen because I would be really down to go and explore and do things and i also don't know when the best time of year to go would be so maybe you can let us know what that would be too the best time ever, it's so expensive to go in the summer so i like, don't want to it's go in the not going to be in the summer it's going to be fall like fall if we could do like october november that would be fantastic still expensive then but if we could do that that'd be ideal yeah what is your taco bell order hallie oh my god Gosh, it depends on the day. Well, so recently it's been pretty the consistent. cantina menu. Oh, the chicken cantina. cantina. The chicken cantina quesadilla. Oh, slow roasted chicken. Oh man, it's so good. Yeah, what's the difference between the kinds of chicken they're using? I don't know. Because you're the such slow a chef. roasted ki- kitchen. Ki- chicken. 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 Chicken, honey. Yes. That tastes so good. 
Yeah. Why does it taste so Somehow good? Somehow it's just like juicier. It's a slow oven roasted chicken. So it's a difference in the chicken. One. Two, it comes with salsa verde. comes with guac. It comes with sour cream yeah. in the box. That's fantastic. The grilled cheese burrito is my go-to. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. Do you want to do that tomorrow good. for date night? Ooh. That sounds good. Sounds really good. Well, actually, I have a long run the next day, so maybe maybe not. It's not <laughs> a good idea. Um, But I would like to... Maybe next time I go to Taco Bell, I think we should try the Cheez-It thing. You know, the one with Cheez-It's like this big? I can't. It looks so disgusting. I have to try it. I grew up literally like that was my go-to snack, eating Cheez-Its. So I feel like maybe we should just give it a try. Are you against that? Because I think we should do it. Oh, hi, Sylvie. Try it. Oh, hi. Sylvie. Everybody who's watching the video. Actually, you guys all really watched the video. We just looked at the analytics. I yeah. would say 80% of the people watch or listening to the podcast also watch the video, which is amazing. Next question. Who would win in a fight? A robot versus a dinosaur? I'm so confused with this question when I saw it. I thought you were just messing with me, but it's a real question. Uh, I would say the dinosaurs would win for sure. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. 100%. Logistically, why? Well, if you think about it, a dinosaur is massive. Unless the what robot was What about the robot's also? massive? Well, then it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about just a human-sized robot. Okay. So I guess this needs to be more specific. Yeah, then. not specific enough. We need we need a lot more information to be able to properly answer this question. And you can do some physics behind the scenes of calculating. What what do you calculate in physics? Uh, we calculate the, the inertia. <laughs> you could calculate the inertia <laughs> at which... The kinetic energy that yeah. takes to... Okay. I took physics only two times and I forgot all of it. So Because you cheated? I did not cheat. Please don't revoke my degree. <laughs> okay. So you did cheat? This We're going back to New York City apparently because <laughs> the question is talk about traveling like break down your new york city trip i want recommendations mm. oh i got the recommendations for you okay. hallie's got a ton of recommendations you before we give those recommendations hallie you can go ahead and pull them up but before we give those recommendations we did want to mention something right now since we're about uh we're about a few minutes into the podcast we have a link in the description everyone if you use the link in the description then you get 25 percent off cumin club okay Hallie's code is Hallie25, but the link itself should take you straight to the site and apply the code for you. So you don't have to, you don't have to remember that it says Hallie25. Which, I mean, really, that's just my name and my age because my name is Hallie and I am 25. Yeah. But just like you said, it's going to be applied in the cart already. Exactly. So like you don't have to do anything. And you get to go check out their awesome selection of food. The Cumin Club is amazing. We make their stuff literally all the time and it is so simple that you can do it. Yes. And do you know how simple that that has to be? Yeah, it's very simple. It's an affiliate link, so it also yeah. helps us out. So it, it helps out the channel. If you buy some, then this whole thing just gets bigger and bigger. And it bigger. go. It does go towards our channel and m gives us more funds to put into our channel and merch coming up, which we're really excited about. So yeah, please go check that out. Use Hallie Twenty Five, and I promise the Cuban Club will not disappoint. My favorite, personally, is the. Is it paneer? It, I think it's, I believe it's called paneer butter masala. Oh, it's so, so good. good with rice, like over rice or with like naan or parata or anything else. So please go check that out. I promise you will not be disappointed. Back to the normal recording, everybody. Wait a second. I have Break something. Down. What? <laughs> ADHD. Um, I just want to go back to my Taco Bell order because I also wanted to add that we love Baja Blast. Oh, Baja Blast is great. And nacho fries. Nacho fries. I don't like the nacho fries. Or just like the regular nachos. I like those. Oh, the nacho fries are good, but they give me gas. Okay, so yeah. That's why we avoid those. What are some New York City recommendations, Allie? Are you ready? All right. I have, so I actually made a list and it's called Allie's Favorites in New York City. And I, I, oh, I wrote a cute little note to myself at the top. But anyways, I'll break it down. All right, so on this list, I have the thing, the place, like the actual name of it, Halley rating and location. So I will say my favorite coffee that I had in New York City was at Conwell Coffee Hall, and it's located in the financial district. I gave it a five out of five for aesthetic price and taste. <laughs> 
Um, and it's a coffee shop that's located in an old bank in the financial district. And it was so cool. The vibes were immaculate. It was cool. It was 93 degrees when we went in. It was kind of warm in there, though. That's the only gripe I have. Because it was so... It, you just said it was 93 degrees. Bro. Yeah. It was so, it was so hot. But um, aesthetic was amazing. We were able to go in there and work, which was really nice. I got a delicious lavender latte. Enjoyed it thoroughly. It came in a really cute, nice tall glass. So... Got to sip it and enjoy it while it lasted. It was so good. I'm a big fan of lavender lattes. I know you aren't, but like I am. They're just delicious. Um, so I would say that's my favorite coffee for sure. Definitely go there because you will not be disappointed. My favorite food. This one's tough. What was your favorite food? Because I can just give recommendations. Definitely Los Tacos number one. Probably, I mean, just because it's so consistently good, I would say that's probably top of my list, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Los tacos. Sure. And there Most are multiple tacos. locations of this one. So definitely if you are in if you find yourself in New York City, please, I beg of you, go to Los Tacos number one. We took two of our friends with us and I said, Your life is gonna be changed after this. And they're like, Okay, I'm excited. And they tried the tacos and their lives were indeed changed. And they would admit to that. Um another really good food place that I liked was um Ruby Rosa Pizza. It's a very authentic New York style pizza. Very good. It was so good. So I would definitely recommend that as well. That was in Little Italy, I think, Mm -hmm. that area. And it was so tasty and fantastic. You guys have the opportunity, like Little Italy, um, Chinatown, those kinds of areas have those like hole in the wall places. Those are usually the best. Yeah, absolutely. Hole in the wall place. I mean, yeah, anywhere you go. Like we tried that one Italian sub place. Oh my god. We ate the Indian food on um, right next to B and H Radio City. Wait, what? The the radio. What's it called? Is it called radio? What? No, we. It was right next oh. to B and H. It was right next to B and H. You're right. You're and if right. you're into camera and stuff, you should definitely go to B and H, like the oh, photo store, photo biggest video. B and H store in the world. It's amazing. Um, but the Indian place that we went to is called Put. Put- oh god how do i say that patili Pat- patiala <laughs> indian grill it was Patiala. really good uh one of our friends said this is the best paneer i've ever had so just keep that in mind really good yeah Ooh, and our favorite park to go to which has like it's just relaxing and i think on saturday nights they do concerts mm-hmm. and they have a really nice waffle stand where you can get like dessert waffles it's bryant park i am my happiest when i'm at bryant park I love Bryant Park. Yeah. It's right next to the Museum of National History, I think. Are you farting right now? No. You're literally farting. No, I'm not. We also tried a bunch of chai. Oh, yeah. We tried a ton, like too much. And that video is coming out, so we can't talk about any of our chai recommendations in this video. What? Because there's a main channel video coming out, and it's coming out very soon. It actually might come out before or after this video. So stay tuned, and I'll link it if it is already out. Because we gave, we tried six different places in yes. one day. Man, oh man, did we feel that after the fact. The next day, I woke up like I was hungover. I had a massive, <laughs> I had a massive headache. <laughs> I wore sunglasses. No, I didn't wear sunglasses all day. I just felt really bad the next day because <laughs> we had so much. Yeah, we had a little too much. I mean, probably like six cups. Is it, it hurt my head, so that's all I gotta say to that. We're done with New York City. We are gonna move on to a really deep question. You ready, Hallie? Hit me. Don't hit me, when but like hit me. <laughs> will you have kids? Oh. See, I don't know what I want with my life, so I can't give you an answer to that right now. This is a great question. I can't even think about having another human to take care of. Sylvie's hard enough. No, she's not. Don't and you dare. Take that back. It's it's just difficult. You're not hard to take care of Sylvie. See, the issue is that I don't feel like I can take care of myself. Just, I mean, I can, but I can't at the same time. I, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm, Yeah. the future for me feels really murky right now because I don't know what I want. Mm-hmm. And how can I, how can I get excited or think about having a, of a about us having a baby and I don't even know what's going on in my own life. Yeah. It's, I think right now we're just thinking about what we want to solidify a career as. Whereas a lot of people who do have kids like that, we know they're like, 
they like they've been doing the same thing for like the last three four years they, they know what they want figured it out you know i feel like we're still trying to figure it out what's wrong with us why don't we know no i think we're i think we're, it's a good process you're everybody thinks you're supposed to figure it out in your 20s 20s is when you're supposed to experiment Make mistakes figure and then and, and figure it out in your 30s 40s who knows we never know so take your time if any if you have any of you if any of you feel the same way we do just remember take your time you know what's crazy is that i feel like a lot of people would think we have it figured out like we're married we have a house like we, we have a cat we have two solid jobs guys we don't have anything figured out okay i have nothing figured out besides the things that we already have done like that makes sense i don't know i don't it, know what tomorrow looks like for me i don't know it's social media will make you think everybody's got everything figured out nobody's got anything figured out okay it's it's just you just gotta you just gotta focus on your own path and everything will work out is that true yeah okay then answer me this when will it work out for me why don't i know what i want in my life well you're not supposed to know what's what you want in your life i'm not because you need to you just need to go down the path you haven't gone down <laughs> far enough you need to go down what yeah. path the path okay, do. the one that's in front of you <laughs> No, there is a quote and it says the future doesn't just happen. You are the one who shapes your future. And that's that's really kind of resonated with me the last few days because there are many decisions, I think, in our life at this point that we still can make. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, I mean, so many just come to my mind. For example, the first one, where do we want to end up? Number two, somebody just asked, when do you want to have kids? What do you want to do for your career? What do you want to blah, blah, blah? Like so many so many decisions still to make and still for the rest of our lives as well. I mean, I can't remember the statistic exactly, but you make like some thousand decisions a day. It's a lot. Something like that. And those are little itty bitty ones. All right. Those seem fine. But when it comes to the bigger, more important decisions that seem more permanent, even though they're not, mm -hmm. those are so scary. <sighs> because in my head, I'm like, oh, I don't want to mess up. But yeah. how am I going to learn from something if I don't mess up? At least a little bit. Failure is necessary for success. But it hurts. Talking about kids again, somebody asked us, have you guys thought about future names, American or Indian name? A little bit of a fusion of both. We've thought about names. We have. Um, I would say the number one name that we love, but we don't know if we want to use, but I love it, is is our cat's name that we already have, Sylvie. It's such a it's such a great name. It does, and it feels so right. And I love the name. Obviously, it has it would be a girl in that case. But if it was a guy, what do you have any names? Silvio. Silvio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I haven't thought of any names really. I guys. mainly just thought for girls. Yeah. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that I'm gonna have a girl for. I don't. I don't know. But I mean, obviously, you can't pick that. Yeah, you can't pick it. Can't pick it. It's the Lord's work. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I do think about names. Um, some I, you know, I kind of want to keep a little personal. Yeah. We can talk about it ourselves. There is an Indian name that I just like looked up recently and mm -hmm. it's I-N-D-I. Indy. Oh, that's neat. I do like that. We are from Indy. I like that name a lot. Indy Patel. Indy Patel. Let us know huh. what you guys think or if you guys have any recommendations for names. I like that. What about... Okay, so with that trend, just because this is the mm -hmm. theme of our podcast, I want to ask, would you be incorporating your name? Because, for example, you have your dad's first name as your middle name. Yeah, I, I want my kid to have my name as their middle name. Every kid that we have? Not, I mean, we'll figure it out. I don't know yet, okay? I'm trying to figure it out. Because See, decision, 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 decision. I don't decisions. know. Usually, it's who your kids will, like, in our area so in gujarat this is like just something that's more common um i think the the history is because of land but i think it's also just a traditional thing at this point where the son or the the husband the husband's name the that name will be the middle name of their kids and so like all my sisters have my dad's name and technically when you get married you change your you change your last name and your middle name. So like my mom's name is my dad's name. My her middle name. Her middle name. Yeah. My mom's middle name is my dad's name. Did you want me to do that for you? No. Okay, good. Because I wasn't not. going to. I love your middle name. <laughs> so, Hallie Suke Patel. 
I'm gonna start calling her that. Hallie Sakati Patel. <laughs> I just can't see myself doing that. I think I love the I way my name flows to too that. much. That's actually really funny. Do you plan on getting a dog or a cat? Well, we have a cat. Yes. I don't I can't even imagine having a dog. We are traveling all the time and we have our we're home maybe ten percent of the week, guys. Like we're never home. And so I feel bad for Sylvia already. We play with her as much as we can, but like it's cats are just so much easier to take care of. That's absolutely true. Um, I don't think it would be fair to a dog if we had a dog right now. First off, we don't have a fenced yard, so it would be kind of difficult, which I mean, I grew up having dogs. So um, and we also had a fenced yard and it was just easy to let them out. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's one thing. And again, like you said, we're, we're never home and dogs definitely need a lot more attention and a lot walks and um quality time than cats do cats just kind of do their own thing but two i want to mention that you travel a lot and i'm home more than you are just because you know i don't travel on every trip with you so at least sylvie and i get to spend some girl time together but i'm not gonna lie earlier we did go pick sylvie up some food at the at the pet store and there were there were two kitties for adoption and i hope they were two years old and four years old so i don't know how that would work i think if we were to ever get another cat it would be a kitten it would have to be a kitten because sylvie would be i believe she would be territorial yeah i don't think she'd be super happy about another kitty up in her business Mm -mm. Mm -mm. i don't think so. like the way i said that yeah i don't think she would like another cat here (laughs) because this is sylvie's house like she's got only child syndrome like she is an only child she knows it. She loves it. That's just the way things have been for the last two and a half years. I think if we switched it up, it would be such a shock to her system. But I don't know. I know other people that are like, oh my gosh, well, my cat has a playmate now. And like, I don't feel as bad about being gone because they have each other. Yeah. But also like, I don't think I'll love the second one as much as I love Sylvie. <laughs> like, I just love bold statement. I wonder if that's how people feel about their kids. Yeah, there's always a favorite kid. So, like, you're the fourth kid. So, like, mm-hmm. how do you think your parents feel about you? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm the second. <laughs> oh. I think I'm my mom's favorite. And then my dad's favorite is my third sister. Really? Mm. Yeah. Can we, like, call them and ask them? I'll, I'll have to. I'll bring them on one day. Do you know how funny that would be? Freaking hilarious. Your mom, I feel like, would just laugh. Yeah, and she she like, always says parents, she loves everybody the same. <laughs> but you can tell, you can tell. You See, can. my parents do the same thing, and I feel like they just laugh and would avoid the question. Like parents don't want to pick favorites, but deep down, I feel like they have favorites. Like they're gonna be they're gonna be talking like when nobody's home, and they're gonna be like, "So who's really your favorite?" And they're gonna be honest with each other. You know, like they know they have it in their head. You should mic them up one yeah, day, like and be like, "Okay, I'm gonna leave now." You know, AirPods have this feature where if you leave one in yeah. a space, you can hear what that like space is like listening. To I don't like that. Yeah. So if you leave like one AirPod in one place and then go somewhere else. Imagine being like, I'm going to see what these people are saying about me. Like I just, I would never do that. So if that. you ever see an AirPod, just one, just laying around, be careful. Know that the place is wired. <laughs> Question number thousand. Uh, <laughs> what are your future goals? We have many future goals. We're not going to go in depth on this. There's a whole episode about this one that's going to come out. And this is not just our future goals, but people's goals in general. But we want to be able to work for ourselves, right? We want to be able to have a business of some kind in the future. And that's the main thing that we are trying to do. So we love what we do right now, okay? Everything we're doing right now is going to eventually create something bigger. That's the future goal. That's my most in-depth answer that I'm going to go through. I well, I would say, I don't know. But I mean, to your point of, yes, I think my biggest goal that I, I know that I am passionate about and that it will happen is that I just want to be my own boss. I want us, I want us both to not work for anybody else because this stuff that we're doing, the pot, whether it be the podcast or Espatel Productions doing photo and video. She is so cute. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted right now. Sylvie popped in the video again and she's so cute and soft. And I love you so much. We're going to name our firstborn after you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, um, what was I saying? 
<laughs> we have lots of goals. We're going to move on to the yes. next question because this is going to be a very in-depth answer. All right. Hallie, have you ever been in an auto rickshaw? Oh, yeah. Of course she has. Watch our India video. I'll link it. What did you guys study in college? Is my last name Patel or is my last name Patel, baby? <laughs> what did you yeah. study in college, Hallie? I studied data science and informatics. And I studied computer engineering. It was very difficult, but I'm glad I did it. And I actually started off with nursing, which I think I've mentioned this a while back, but I originally started in some pretty gen ed basic classes to get into the nursing program. And then I was like, mm, actually, I don't know. The biggest deciding factor for that, I think, is because I psyched myself out. I told myself that I wasn't smart enough, which is so dumb. I literally basically just told myself, oh, I can't do this, so I'm not even going to try. But honestly, it probably worked out for the best because I'm not good with blood. I'm not good with uh, gross stuff. I'm so glad because I don't want Hallie to be cleaning up poop and then coming home. Bringing that poop in here. Yeah. That's not what all nurses do, Suke too. There's a lot of poop that they got to clean up. Okay, but like there's so many different branches of nursing. I don't know how nurses do it, to be honest. Like it is a, a group very very difficult job to do 12 hours are you kidding me i can barely stand for 12 hours well the mental load that you have to carry of if a patient is not doing well or all that you're doing for somebody learning new things on the job you know dealing with real life experiences it's not theoretical it's not research like i do you're actually yeah. doing stuff in real life that affect people's well-being and that to me is a massive respect is the K2 a milkman? What does that mean? I don't freaking know. I looked it up. It's very inappropriate. So there I'm are just like gonna, multiple meanings, though. I'm going to assume that it's somebody who delivers milk. I do not deliver milk, everybody. I don't think you do that's like a it, though. Job anymore. I love milk. Milk is great. You're a little lactose intolerant, though. So, maybe so like, that's kind of that's what that is. You're an anti milkman. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show you watch together? Right now, definitely Welcome to Wrexham. Welcome to Wrexham. I love Suits so much. And I love watching it with Hallie. Yeah, we've been watching Suits because it's like all New York business yes. hustle mindset. That's That's been good. I like Suits, but probably welcome to Wrexham. What's the best way to get into running 5Ks, 10Ks, marathons? Being consistent. Start slow. Yes. And the main goal is distance. So like see how long you can run, but go slow like don't try and like run fast that's definitely the issue that a lot of people have is like oh i have to push myself to see how fast i can run in 30 minutes no 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 let me tell you slow down jog a little bit jog you can jog you can walk in between just push your endurance i mean really you just want to yeah. a make it enjoyable enough that you enjoy it so <laughs> that you enjoy it enough that you'll do it consistently. That's the biggest thing for me is I used to not enjoy it and I would never want to continue doing it because I would push myself. I would run at the hottest parts of the day during the summer. I would do things. Sylvie, Sylvie loves running. Um, I would do things that made my running not enjoyable. And just as of last November, I decided that I wanted to do races and get back into 5Ks and run a half marathon and eventually run the New York City Marathon, which would be such a cool experience. And so the biggest thing for me has been taking it slow, listening to my body and not pushing myself too hard because you're not going to want to come back and consistently show up if you're pushing yourself to your limits and feeling exhausted. And that if, it, if your run didn't feel good, then how are you going to want to come back the next day and do it again? Yeah. That's my Just big piece of stamina, advice. I would say. Yeah. Do you guys make money on Instagram? Because your videos get so many views. No. <laughs> on Instagram, no. You do not make money on Instagram like you can on TikTok or YouTube or anything else. Yeah, we do not make a lot of money at all doing this. But we love it. We do this because we love it. We don't do it because of the money. And we will never do it because of the money. So I just need you all to know that because of you guys, we continue this. You guys asked all these questions, Okay. We wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. That's facts. So I'm very grateful that you guys continue watching this because we really, really enjoy it. Yeah, because we, yeah, just to echo you, we don't do it for the money. No. Like we're, We don't make money doing this. I've, we just enjoy doing it. Yeah. And it's good 
couples therapy for us. It's good, fun times for other people watching. I think we're relatable and I think a lot of people enjoy that. And the feedback that we've gotten says yes. So you guys love it. We love doing this. And I think it's a win-win for everybody. So let's just keep growing this podcast. Please share with your friends, your family, on your social media, because it'll help us. It, and we could really use it. It does. It yeah. helps a ton. If you're not, if you haven't already liked this video, make sure you like the video because I look at every single like and it helps He's the obsessed. algorithm. Speaking of relatable, mm. ranch or blue cheese? Ranch. I'm ranch. not a blue cheese Everybody's going to pick ranch. If you pick blue cheese, <laughs> my I'm dad would pick blue cheese. I'm scared of you. <laughs> blue cheese and t- blue cheese is way too intense for me. Do you believe in divorce? I want to go back to the blue cheese thing with your wings, right? I never Ranch? get blue cheese. Okay, I'm just making sure because I wouldn't I trust would you. I would never get blue cheese. I can't even eat cheese. You can. I'm lactose intolerant. But you love milk. Back to the big question. <laughs> do you believe in divorce? I think for the right reasons, yes. I also believe it because if you're not happy and you there's something that happened like Let's say, say cheating cheating or abuse Some whatever something form, like that yeah that is not okay so if you need to get out of a situation that's there for sure yeah i absolutely agree with that i think obviously when you want to marry somebody it's it's a big deal you know you're you're signing your life away no i'm just kidding you're not signing your life away i love you i'm just kidding yeah, that's i promise i promise but you're signing you know hey <laughs> You're signing something and, you know, you put on a whole wedding. I mean, like in my eyes, it has to be very serious for us to break this thing off. Right. Mm. Like if you cheated on me, done. Donezo. The thing that makes me mad is the people who don't put in the effort and then they get divorced because of that. Like, like well, mm, if, it just wasn't working. What, what do you mean? If you like are putting in this, if you're agreeing <laughs> to get married and then you get divorced because... You just felt like it. Um, I don't know. I've, seen, I've I've heard a lot of the, those stories. I think a lot of people, whether, I mean, there are many decisions in life that people make, but I think a lot of people act on impulse and maybe they acted on impulse as well to get married and then they're acting on impulse to get divorced just because, I mean, again, there are certain situations where I absolutely think it is justified. Okay. We're in the wedding business. So we film a ton of weddings and we know like, we know like when, there's going to be a divorce. Like you can kind of tell during tell. the wedding. And it's a very like sixth sense feeling. Like I think just, it's just when you do so many weddings, you're like, oh. Yeah, there's like some tension there. Like something hasn't been resolved yet. The families hate each other. And so, yeah, it's like I, I've seen, like I've done weddings where like eventually that couple is divorced. And so like quite a few of them. And we all, we we get that sense and it's just there. So like, there's some things that, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Like, yes, but you know, you got to put in the effort to make it work. Yeah. And marriage is not, marriage is not easy at all. Um, so you know, if you are on a completely different path and you know that there's no way you can reconcile and figure that out together, then sure, go for it. And again, if something, bad happens that you can't come back from absolutely going back to marriage at what age did you get married i was 22 years old and i was 24 we were young we were so young but i want to point out we'd been dating since 2015 we could not get married like we did if we didn't get married that year yeah, after wedding, that, it just went nutty. Wedding cost nowadays in 2024 are so ridiculous. I don't know how people are affording to get married right now. I don't either. It's just gone up and up and up and up. It's crazy. And honestly, everything worked out perfectly for, I mean, truly perfectly for us with the wedding, with the house, with us starting our full-time job. Like timing wise, everything worked out. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, now got, nothing's working out, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> we got we got everything worked out just fine. So that's yeah. the age we got married. We actually have somebody who asked a question uh, related to to us and our two weddings, which is, "Hey, my boyfriend and I have been following you guys for a while. Love that you had two weddings. If it's not too weird to ask, how much did each wedding cost? And uh, we're trying to 
we're trying to get an idea of if we want to do two or not. We're also Indian and white. Um, thank Slay. you. Okay. Thank you for asking. Great question. Full transparency. We're, we can we can give you a rough estimate of what each day cost. Number one, Christian wedding. It was round about 35 to 40. Roundabout. It was? It was 35 to 40. This is not including videographer or photographer. We covered that cost. And so American wedding, about 35 to 40. Yeah. And then Indian wedding, the exact same. 30, I think it was a little bit more, around 45, just because the wet, the food was just so expensive uh, because we fed everybody for three days. Uh, and that is what it cost a lot. And we were so grateful because our parents are amazing. Okay. Absolutely. Want to put that out there. So that is how much each wedding costs. And then on top of that, the uh, photographer and videographer costs uh, us about eight to nine thousand. It's a lot of money. Um, if you put that all together, guys, it gives you <laughs> quite a gives, bit of money. It gives you close to ninety k. So mm. it's it's expensive. It's not cheap to have a wedding. And that was back three years ago. And honestly, it, I mean, it's crazy. But just since then. Prices have skyrocketed. Why? And we didn't have any kind of extravagant, like crazy wedding, like a insane. The reason I mean, it cost like we so did much, some good stuff, but we didn't go all, 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 all out. The reason it was costing so much is because of the two days. Yeah. That was expensive. And luckily, I mean, again, like you just said, our parents are so amazing. Our families are so amazing yes. that each family paid for respectfully the other so many so many things on top of that like my sisters and brother-in-laws like they all helped fund a lot of other things that were going on and all that coordination and then we didn't even have a wedding planner because hallie's mom and hallie herself took care of that on that side all my sisters took care of the planning on our side it was a team effort so what did you do i did nothing yeah at all (laughs) i just was there and you so, just existed. I just existed. <laughs> I feel like that's what the groom typically does, though. Like, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's just what I've experienced. And they're it's, like, yeah, whatever she wants. You did help me collectively make decisions, though, which I, yeah. when I asked for your opinion, I really appreciate I was it. involved. I wanted to be involved. Yeah. Like, the like all the food choices, mm-hmm. our smoothie bar that we had, photo and video, um, venue, obviously, date, obviously. Um, I mean, really, all the things. For us, it was right after like COVID and and it was, uh, for us, it was a very necessary celebration. I wouldn't say it's necessary for everybody. You know, eloping is not a bad idea. Uh, We thought about it for sure when it became too much. Financially, if it makes sense, do it. Okay. I do not knock anybody for eloping because it is so financially responsible. It's not even funny. Mm Mm-hmm. Next question, how did Sakechu navigate dating with Indian parents and introducing Hallie to them? This is a great question. Welcome to our podcast. <laughs> we have a whole episode on this one. We do. And so I'm going to link that and hopefully it helps a little bit. Just a quick synopsis. You are your own person. Don't let your parents dictate your entire life. Your parents are amazing. My parents are amazing. They're the reason I'm here today. But... You are your own person. Damn. Well said. You have anything else to say to that? No. Okay. Mic drop. Well, don't drop these mics. They're expensive. But Very expensive. Good job. That Thank was you. fantastic. I was going to say, could you sum it up? But you took the words right out of my mouth. What's your best high school memory? Together or not Just together? Best high school mm. memory. Hmm. Probably overall, if I just had to pick a year, even my junior year of high school, because that's when we met. And that's when I stopped playing volleyball because volleyball was so toxic and terribly run by the people that ran it at my school. It was horrible. And I didn't even enjoy the sport anymore. So I'm really glad that I got cut from the team because all these politics. But that's besides the point. 
that's when I started managing the guys cross country team. And I met all of my good friends that were in cross country guys team and girls team. And they are still my friends today. And I'm so thankful that year was so pivotal for me. And it really shaped me into who I am because I have lifelong friends now from that. So that was a huge experience. And just all the time that we spent together, I mean, fall break probably is my favorite memory because that's when you and I really started to bond and fall in love and form our friendship. And it was amazing. And yeah, I'm trying to think if there's like a specific memory. There was this place that we liked to go to in high school and we'd bring all our friends. It was called Gravity Hill. Mm. All right. And it was, you had, we always went there at night and you had to go it was very it was very close to a very spooky house that mm-hmm. looked abandoned it was just like i don't know how to describe it it was just really creepy there were like trees growing through the cars but like the yard was well kept if that makes sense like it looked like somebody lived there but didn't and it just i don't know it freaked me out but anyways if you put your car in neutral it would roll up the hill so we always took our friends there and that was pr- that's like one fun thing that we used to do in indiana that's what you do <laughs> there's not much to do here yeah <laughs> One of the questions was, do you like how do you know you were in love? And what you said, fall break, that was my favorite memory because my senior year fall break, her junior year fall break, that's like when we knew, like I knew, maybe not her as much, but I knew that I was falling in love. I love that memory. If it doesn't have to do with Hallie, I would say there's this thing I made in high oh, school. <laughs> here we go. It's called a lip dub. Haven't heard and that one before. That was a very crucial moment in my life to get out of my shell i was very introverted that's hard to believe hard to believe yeah. i was super introverted i was like i couldn't like i wasn't good at talking to people and then when i made this i was like i had to talk to like news anchors i was on news oh, stations you had to talk to news anchors i was getting Boo-hoo. interviewed so like i had like a good like press like um what's it called like media training right and because of that, I was just able to talk more clearly and talk and talk. And talk. I was able to like formulate my thoughts a little bit better. I was just better at presenting, I guess. And so that's something that I, I really remember. Core memory, core memory. Ah, uh, I just remember all the time that we spent together. And I think that that and spending time with my friends and I, yeah, I, I don't know. I would say once you start to feel love, whether you're giving or receiving it, that changes you and makes you into a better person. So that was a formative year for me just because we were so in love. Once you go brown. Anyways. What? How did you meet is one (laughs) of the other questions. Um, We met is what she already explained, cross country. She was a manager. I was in cross country. That's how we met because I just wanted to know why was she a manager? It's like, why are you a manager? And that's how we met. Isn't that crazy that just in your head, like you had to know? who i was i just had to know yeah like don't you think that's a sign yeah it's gotta be there's just so many signs that have happened in my life i think everything happens for a reason everything happens for a reason yeah we're at the last question are you ready for this one i guess so are you normal no absolutely i am not normal are you normal no probably not were you gonna say absolutely yes yeah see see like okay here's the thing i think I mean, okay, you got to you got to think about some people in the world's okay too. I see some weird stuff wow. whether it be in person or online or I hear okay. about weird stuff. Compare yourself to those people. We're okay, we're, we're normal. We're very normal. We're normal compared to n- not normal people. Yeah. But we're not normal compared to normal normal people. Like we're not boring. I would say like we're very fun. I take pride in that. We don't do things that normal people do. Like like I feel like a lot of the people that I know don't like do what we do. Like in terms of work <laughs> okay, 24/7. Gonna, well, we're but not I'm talking about like sense. Yeah, 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 I totally like agree. Like we're, we're we're always doing something whereas I feel like a lot of people, people will find us weird because we don't like take breaks often. We don't take breaks often. And even when we do take a break, we're working during that break. Well, yeah. 
like when we went to New York City, we were working technically. Yeah, a we lot worked of on stuff every day. Business expenses. Yeah, <laughs> well, we were working yeah. on the business. So, like personality-wise, though, are we normal? I'd say we're normal. We're pretty weird, but like we're weird normal. I we're like normal, weird. being weird normal. Yeah, if it, if I'm not goofy, then what is life? What is life? What is life? That I is ask, where we're ending. What is life? I ask myself every day because I don't know. <laughs> if As you a don't reminder, tell me. you need to go to www.halfpastshot.com to submit your own questions. If you don't want to go to the site, just DM us on Instagram at halfpastshot and we will make sure we write down your questions. Or comment down below. That'd be amazing. Can you please comment your favorite question and your answer to it down below? Thank you very much. If you comment that, we will pin the best one, okay? That is my reward, award to you. So if they've made it this far, what should they say in the comment? Because last time you said no more fear. Oh, yeah. Let's say... I love being normal. I love being normal. <laughs> That's the comment, everybody. So say I love being normal and then comment your favorite question and the answer to it. Yes. Thank you all for watching till this point. Half Past Crew, we love you. We thank you for your support. We are so glad to be growing this community. If you haven't already joined the Discord, make sure you join the Discord. It's in our link in our bio. It's linked in our link tree or whatever it's called. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next Monday at Half Past Ja. Thank you, everybody. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. We live in America. Uh, yeah. We live in America. Is that all you got? We live in uh uh America. You should do like slam we poetry. Got, we 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 no. We 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 got. We live in America. We're moving to New York City. Woo! See you next time in New York City at half past job. <laughs> Bet. 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 Bet.